what happened was actually I was, uh, I knew I had to do the book. God said to me, do the book. And, um, you know, God taught me many things. And he said, while I write the, wrote the book, he said to me, okay, see the book, see the book. And I said, God, this would be a, a New York based seller. And I, he said, do you see it? I said, I see it. He says, bring it down. I anchor it in on earth. I anchor it in my spirit. And sure enough, it did became a New York based seller. But the night before I had to send the book in for publishing, I received those years a written letter from, from someone that's saying, you know what, that's not true what you were telling. And um, this is not your story. It's not true. And all of a sudden I thought, oh, Lord God, what if I harm your kingdom? And I cried that night. I tell you, I cried. My husband put the light on. What on earth is wrong with you? And I told him the story. And he says, can't you see what the enemy tried to do? Can't you see? I'm like, no, I'm so upset. And anyway, I could go back to sleep and I say to the Lord, I say, God, I have a couple of hours. If you want me to do this book, you need to speak to me. So I'm lying there with eyes wide open. He didn't speak and I fall asleep. But while I fall asleep, my spirit man was right out there, wide awake. And Jesus entered into the room and he sat on my bed, on my bed. I was amazed. My spirit man was up and I said, Jesus, you know, what's the first thing I asked you? I forgot about the book. I said, how can you love me so much? How can you love me this much? And I felt his presence and his love. You know what he said to me? Give me the book. And in the spirit, I took the book and I gave the book to him. He did this. He says, this book will be filled with my spirit. I woke up the next morning. My son's book, every day when he had breakfast, he wrote. I opened the book. He said, so what did Jesus do last night in your room? What did he tell you? 